Good morning, friends. Today we are going to talk about Anatomy Act. This topic is newly inducted in our syllabus of first year BMS, and it only says to introduce the Anatomy Acts. So, today we will talk about Anatomy Act, which is to deal with legally, which helps us to procure the body for the dissection purpose. So, what is Anatomy Act? So, Anatomy Act in India refers to the legislations of laws that regulate the use of human bodies for the anatomical examination, research, and education purpose. These acts are designed to ensure the ethical and legal education. Means, the important the prospect is how legally we body ko acquire kar sakte hain, and for the disposal of the body and body parts for medical and scientific purposes. Anatomy plays a crucial role in felicitating medical education research while also respecting the dignity and rights of decreased individuals and their families. So, why do you need to know this? First of all, you have to know that the history is an example that tells you about body donation and dissection. So, first of all, we can get example from our own Susruta, which is believed to be from 1500 to 500 BC. He has first described the dissection process and preservation process in Sari Ristan chapter number 5. Next, uh, history of body donation can be traced back in the Quran. There was Rishi Dadhish who donated his bones to make an instrument or weapon known as Vajra for killing certain demons. Then in olden time, dissection was frowned upon by the religious law. Means mostly religious laws used to govern ki what are the type of research work will be done. So human body ka use dhire dhire kam hone laga due to certain religious laws. But in 3rd BC in Greece, Herophilus conducted systemic human dissections and whatever prehistoric or pre-Vedic knowledge or you can say old or ancient knowledge we have from the modern side, it is basically from this particular Greek medicine only. Now, what are the other prospects? So you can see there was a Galen who has conducted the dissection of animals. Because he believed that anatomy of everyone is common. Then there was a primary medical doctrine followed in Europe for several centuries. But in 11th century, a revival of human dissection again occurred, which was supported by church. But process only medical universities can do it. In Europe, the barber surgeons used to dissect the human bodies to demonstrate various structures at the command of professors. Then came Andreas. He was a student and professor who established its importance in learning the process of anatomy, human dissection, and future practice of medicine. So, from that particular point, it was considered uh, human cadaver dissection as gold standard of learning anatomy. Then Slowly, the number of medical college increased, so the demand of body was also increased, Edward, which was met by the slave bodies and grave robbers. So, due to this grave robbing, there was need to for a law. So, there came an emergence of act. So, first of all, there was a law called as the Murder Act of 1752 in Great Britain which allows the executed prisoners for the benefit of medical education. So, when death punishment diya jata tha, unka body ko use kar sakte the for the process of dissection. But soon, many more... Hmm? So, but the demand was too much and this type of capital punishment was very less. So, again, there was a scarcity of the bodies. Then came a a very bad period or a dark period in the history of anatomy where the practice of body snatching was started because there was no correct way to provide the bodies for anatomical purposes. Then ultimately in 1832 there came an anatomy act in Britain which allowed the physician and surgeons to legally access to the unclaimed bodies for the dissection purpose and also established the concept of voluntary body donation and thus came a introduction of anatomy act in the legal world and which was again copied by the or followed by the different countries also like India also. 
So you can see here there is some timeline. If you can see from Sushrutha period to Herophilus period, the period of study increase in body procurement for the scientific study. So this period there was good dissection process was going on. But you can see a between period there was period of study decline in body procurement for scientific purpose. Then ultimately again the process started booming after this law was acted. So how this law came in India? So in India, the anatomy act was enacted in 1949 and was called as Bombay Act. Most of the state have their own act as per their requirement, but mostly are going to follow this particular act only. So these are the some years in which the various states have enacted the anatomy act. So you can see Maharashtra anatomy act 1949. Then you can see Karnataka anatomy act 1957. You can see Delhi and Autumn Act 1953 and likewise all the states of India right now are having the anatomy Acts. So what is the use of anatomy Acts? So first of all to supply the unclaimed bodies for appropriate institutions. Then body donation before death or after death voluntary for the purpose of research or study in the medical colleges. These are the two purposes. Now what are the some important terms in this act? Which important terms in to samajna padega like number one is unclaimed body. So, what is unclaimed body? So, body of a decreased person who dies in a hospital, prison, public place, and whose body is not claimed by any near relative or friends within prescribed time period, which is 48 hours. So, these type of bodies will be called as unclaimed bodies. Now, who is near relative? It means the near relative will be like wife, husband, parents, son, daughter, brothers, included any other person who is related to the decrease. And there are two special terms are used here, linear consequently and collateral consequently. Linear consequently simply means blood relationship among the person where one is direct descendant or ascendant to the other, just like father, son and grandson. Collateral consequently means that which the subsists between two persons who are descended from same stock or ancestor, but neither of whom is dated direct to each other. So these types will be called as collateral consequently. And third point is by marriage also, they can become a near relative. Next term is the approved institution. What is approved institution? So as we are the Ayus Institute, Ayurveda Institute, so we will follow like this. Institution which should be having NCISM Ayus approval government recognized and affiliated to the university for medical study. Institution may be educational or research center. In its curriculum, there should be clear cut mention of dead body dissection requirement. Then there should be permission of anatomy act to the state and state should give to the director of state health and then to the medical education. So likewise, the NOC will be provided to the institute by the civil surgeon or medical health officer and that institute can now procure the unclaimed bodies. Now, who is authorized officer or coroner? So, authorized officer is the government officer who confirms and certifies the death of the individual within its jurisdiction. The coroner also conducts or gives order for the investigation for manner and cause of the death if there is some suspicious. If there is some suspicious, then he so when patient dies under the government in the government hospital under the treatment, then authority of the hospital should report the death to the authorized officer of that area. Likewise, if somebody prisoner dies in the prison, they have to give to the same person. And if any unclean body is found, the authorized officer can hand over this body to the medical teaching institutes. Debt certificate. So this is a legal paper which is signed by registered medical practitioner attending the decrease or registered medical practitioner who called after the death of the disease, decreased person is necessary. Debt certificate should always be delivered along with dead body to the authority in charge of the approved institute. And it should be within the 24 hours that receiving the body, the institute has to inform all as detailed to the executive magistrate also. Now, there are some special aspects about the unclaimed body. So, as we have already known that the decreased person with no relative and nobody going to claim in the time period, it is called going to be called as unclaimed. So, uske beech mein kya kar sakte hai? so this time period along, along with the method of preservation of body in the time period has however not been uniformly specified. 
So as per Delhi and not me, authorized officers in charge will be the person who will arrange for the preservation of the body for the particular time period until it is been claimed by somebody or been declared unclaimed. Likewise, in Maharashtra and Autumn Act also, the person, those who are near relative, whether in linear conduit or collateral, or also the friends can claim the body, but they should have legal papers. What is the importance of Autumn Act? First of all, most important part is that the number of unclaimed body will be increased and will be donated to the medical colleges so the demand and supply chain will be properly managed. So it is very necessary to maintain and not at the national level to fulfill the demand of body in medical teaching institution. Unless institution have little permission of anatomy at the government authority, none of institution can give permission to the dissection. Due to anatomy at unclaimed body are now legally used and they are properly disposed also after the process is done. Now so there is one term called a body donation and how body donation is related to an article act. So what is body, body donation is the generous unselfish act for those who wish to use, use useful to living after death. Donor will help medical students learning and research purpose. The so voluntary donation is not more different from the donation of organs. Only the wish is needed. And if the person wills to do, there is a willingness form available at appropriate institutions or colleges. Body can be donated even if willingness form is not filled prior to death, according to wish of the person after the, the family members can donate the body with the written consent. Now the body will be embalmed and it will be kept in preservative formally for your institute. And after that, it will be properly disposed. So this is the process if a person is going to death, so how you can acquire the body. The first is you can see death in the hospital, so it, it has valid death certificates and directly with the help of authorized officer, the body can be donated to the medical college. If there is death at the home and the person was attended by registered medical practitioners in last seven days, so he can provide the death certificate and ultimately it can be donated. If it was not attended by practitioner, then it ha they have to attend it and if the cause of death is proper, there is no suspicion, then they can give the death certificate so that it can be donated. But debt is at the home, but there is no death certificate. Now legal procedure will start. There will be police inquiry and if something suspicious is found, there will be postmortem and after postmortem, an OC will be provided. And if there is nothing suspicious, directly an OC can be provided for the body donation. So this is the some systems according to which body can be donated to the Institute. These are some references. So I think it is very clear to all of you that what are the important points in anatomy app, what is the role of anatomy app, and how we can take benefit from this. So that's all. Thank you.